crazy thing. I had a swim and got out. It was nice. It was great. But trying to get my headphones out, this has happened. Hello. Welcome back. Continuing the day here. It is 1.31 p.m. on Friday, July 24th. So welcome to part two of today. Yes, I have uploaded my documentary a few hours ago. I have just closed the door, beginning my journey out to my dad's house. Thank God there's nobody. Phew. It might be quite hot this time. The other day was also really bright and so. Oh, what the heck? Okay, because I don't know how old this elevator is. It's just a little bit of a glitch sometimes that when the door closes, it's, it closes quite slow now. Like, I try to close the door, then it takes seven seconds to fully close. And I don't know what's the problem with the door closing like quicker than seven seconds time. But never mind, now I'm out of the elevator. No need to argue, debate about that after all. Look, they have extended the construction zone. So it is no longer just that part that is ahead of us. It even continues to right there. And you can even hear some mechanics noises right now going on there. I guess it's been like that for a while, but only now can we hear them actually doing something. And once again, am I facing this craziness of that wind sometimes? Like if I would pick two options, whether to have heat or wind, you know what my opinion would be? I'd rather have heat than wind because sometimes wind can even take my stuff away unexpectedly, like even my hat. Right now I'm wearing a hat and the wind can take my hat away, but the heat wouldn't. It would make me sweat like crazy, but heat wouldn't really do anything that much compared to wind. So I'd rather have heat than wind. What would you guys think? Would you guys give an opinion on that? What would you guys think? Well, I'm still walking up this zone, even though I'm not getting too close. It turns out that there's 34,500 volts in there, and that is many. 34,500 volts from that much of a distance, at least, doesn't really make me feel that worried because I'm um, not too close to that door. Depends on your distance, how you do, and you feel safe when you are not too close to the volts. Obviously, this big bus there is gonna make me do nothing. So what can I do? Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna wait for you, boy. <laughs> okay, well, for now I'm good with the, oh, there we go again. Starting to really show itself again. Sometimes it feels like you're in a blizzard when it shows itself like a tiger. Imagine, a tiger comes to the zoo and bites your ear off. Yeah, sometimes the wind is acting a bit like that when the trees gust over like very fast as fast as a cheetah okay thankfully i saved myself because one minute later there was a police checkup right in front of the shopping mall and some stores some luxury stores at least nobody got pulled over by the cops but they were still checking around what was going on and there was even a security guard right next to the police car and like they were both investigating each car and everyone but the good thing is nobody got pulled over like not even the pedestrians or the drivers like nobody so we were all pretty lucky and get away with that and you remember the other day i was talking about those shorts being hanged up on this tree yep it just fell off the other day it was hanged around this side of the tree it fell off and looks like they found their pants or maybe or maybe or maybe the wind must have pulled it off I bet either the wind has pulled those pants off or whoever's pants it is, whoever's the owner of those pants, whoever uses those pants has unhanged it from that tree. So maybe they found it already. It might be a homeless person because also the other day I had mentioned that there was one homeless guy sitting right, right up and I passed him but didn't really ask anything at all. But I bet it was his pants. Surprise! The pool! is almost empty like almost empty there's nobody in the pool and there are few people around it was kind of surprising to see that because today's a bright warm sunny day i mean if this was sunday then everyone would just 
be around the pool and there will be at least 10 or 13 people inside the pool. It will be quite crowded. That's why I don't go to that swimming pool when it's Sunday. But since it's Friday, thankfully not Sunday, but Friday, I can deal with it. Like for three years, for four years actually, for four years I have been thinking, why do they have to close the pool on Monday and not Sunday? Crazy thing. I had a swim and got out. It was nice. It was great. But trying to get my headphones out, this has happened. I didn't even know how it happened. Like, let me, let me show you. It was stuck like this. And I have no clue how this part came out. And there wasn't even a sign of it being broken. There wasn't even a sign of it about to be broken. And suddenly, so suddenly, you guys, so suddenly this happened. I was not even expecting that. This so suddenly happened. I mean, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad that last week I took out my black headphones. Because if they also get broken, I am probably going to have a crackdown. Here. I just decided to hide under here because I'm not really gonna get into what's going on between these guys. Oh, where did he even go? He was standing right there just now. Where did he go? He was barking time to time, and there was another lady taking on her own dog, and they wanted to become friends, but of course, the owner said, No, don't. But to be stubborn and just want to become friends just play around but oh okay i think oh there we go i think that's him again there we go yeah that's him again sorry to see that guy again there we go well he doesn't really hound that much as much as a few minutes ago like a few minutes ago he was hounding every 10 seconds but maybe the security guard helped him get himself into control somehow the security guards are normally upstairs in that tiny shelter I guess they got them I guess they got them real good hi ah, those police cars I don't know what they're still doing there but those were the cops from earlier today they're still standing out there they were the ones that they were doing check out and see them investigation out there. Oh, I'll show you it. Yeah, I'll go back and just turn around. Yep. There is police investigation. It still carry on. It still carries on. It has been continuing on for hours and it still carries on. This time right in front of a mall. Well, earlier they were a bit distance away. And as usual, those taxi drivers again. The other guys are alright, but the taxi drivers are the ones who honk like pretty much all the time mostly oh look there's plenty right there there's actually two but yeah they didn't really do anything that much but taxi drivers do get quite crazy when it comes to roads uh, even more than bus drivers like small bus drivers not like school bus drivers but we kind of have another model like that but taxi drivers are mainly even like more into driving around like panicking i mean because it's their job okay now the taxi the drivers have gone a bit more gentle at this point but the wind oh damn it look at that this is gonna swipe me all over now 8 30 p.m and i bet those cops must have moved away already because in not so long from now the shopping mall is gonna end their day some stores have already closed and ended their day already by now oh it's still ah oh man it's still there and the ambulance too 
insane. I wonder if the cops are still there. They've been out there for hours and I don't know what the problem was. Maybe there was a security hack or something like that. Now, 9.04 p.m. So it's already past nine. So it's already the beginning of night once again. And that marks the end of the day. Yep. As also I've explained to you two days ago, it's that film a day in a life event tomorrow. But I'm not going to be talking about that in the vlog tomorrow at all. I'm just going to act like it's a regular day. Just film a day in a life. That's what it is all about. I will see you guys.